Hey everybody, I am back with a tutorial this time, an actual tutorial. So I did my brows off of camera. I will do an updated video at some point. And I'm going to start out with two primers. The first primer by Essence is actually there to make the eyeshadows last. It makes my eyes a little bit, you know, grippy. And then the P. Louise base, so the zero base, the white one, is there to make the eyeshadows pop. I've been using this combination lately and I've noticed that my eyeshadow lasts a lot longer. Now, before I go to the eyeshadow part, uh, I forgot to film the first couple of minutes of me applying uh, the first eyeshadow shade, which is a green one. Um, <laughs> so bear with me. The rest of the tutorial is fine. It wouldn't be in a Misa video without it, like without me skipping something. Anyway, the next eyeshadow is this purple one and I'm applying it right next to that teal green color. And just with tapping motions, tapping and dragging, uh, I'm applying that color. So first I want to lay down the pigment and then kind of swirling my brush around the, the eyeshadow is what makes it blend. It's what gets rid of that soft or that hard edge, I mean. So tap, drag and swirl. Now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm going to a well fluffy clean brush and I'm going to blend the teal and the purple together. So just windshield wiper motions until I'm satisfied with the gradient. So tap and drag and use windshield wiper motions. Also, um, use kind of like medium pressure on your brush. With a small brush, I'm now using that same purple shade and I'm connecting it to the top of my eye. So I'm applying it underneath my lower lash line. Now I'm mixing these two yellow shades together and with another fluffy brush, I'm applying it on the edge of the teal eyeshadow I applied before, just to soften that edge. Again, windshield wiper motions. Next up, I'm going to use a very light pink shade with that same fluffy blending brush and I'm applying it on the edge of that purple eyeshadow. Do you see how diffused it becomes right now? Like it's aiding to the blend if that makes sense. Like this is what helps me create really even gradient effects for my eyeshadows. With a dense round brush, I'm applying that color on the outer part of my lower lid. And I'm also blending it into that purple eyeshadow a little bit. Since this color has purple and pink reflex in it, it goes really nice together. Then I'm taking a very bright yellow shimmery shade on a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm applying that on the inner part of my lid area. Just blending it into that green or turquoise a bit and of course blending it into that previous shimmer shade. <laughs> I forgot the names y'all. Don't hate me. <laughs> Just tap it into each other until it's fully blended. With shimmer eyeshadows, I like to use dense brushes because that packs on the eyeshadow a lot better. Here I'm also connecting that turquoise color on my lower lash line or underneath it. And I'm also adding just a tiny bit of white on my brow bone just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, so that's it for the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I'm just following the shape of my eye this time and I'm picking out some false lashes. I'm gonna finish up the eye look and then I'll be right back to do the rest of my face. Moving on with the rest of my face, to prime I like to use the Essence Hello Good Stuff Skin Clearing Serum. I just like how it makes my skin look, it also makes my foundation look a lot better. So I'm just quickly massaging that in. And for my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Sienna. I like to use my fingers to distribute it a little better so that I don't, you know, use too much product. I know, I know, I'm gonna put a lot on my skin anyway. But, <laughs> you know, it's easier for me to have control of how much product I put on my skin. And then with a flat kabuki type brush, I'm going to tap that and buff that into my skin. Yes, it is too dark, but I like to mix different foundations together. So this one is a little bit too orange and a little too dark for me, but the next foundation, I'm actually using a more olive undertone, which I also have in my skin. And um, 
it's lighter, obviously. So I like to apply that like underneath my eyes, on my nose bridge, forehead, you get the idea, center of the face. And then with a beauty sponge, I like to blend that into the rest of my foundation. And that will give me a much more accurate foundation shade than just using the Born to Glow foundation on its own. Also, don't worry, all the correct shade names, all the correct product names and everything will be below in the information box. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now you could definitely stop here and set your face and be done or continue with your powders, but I like a bright under eye. So I'm using a very light concealer and I'm applying that right underneath my eye only. And then with my beauty sponge, of course, I'm blending that out, keeping it mostly under the eye. Okay, almost done with the creams. For my blush, I'm using a kind of terracotta shade lipstick and I'm applying that on the highest points of my cheekbones and then with my beauty sponge, I'm just softly blending that out. I often like to use matte or velvet type cream lipsticks as blushes because, well, they blend out easily and they last very long <laughs> and they're a nice base for my powder, as in the blush. And now I'm just setting my face. Quick disclaimer. You do not need to copy me in this at all. This is just my personal preference uh, that goes with anything I do in my tutorials. Um, you know, set your face according to your liking. The people who have been with me for a long time know that I used to set my face with even more powder. So, I mean, I've improved. <laughs> now I'm taking a terracotta kind of color blush and I'm applying that on top of, you know, previous cream blush that I applied and now set. <laughs> wow, that took a long time. Anyway, I'm applying it on the same area as I applied the cream blush. You know, just to reinforce that color a little bit. Now to contour, I'm using these two shades and I'm just gonna apply my contour the way I always do. It's not necessarily to make my face look slimmer, it's just I like the shape of the contour this way. Again, apply your contour in a way that's suited to your face shape and to your liking. Now I'm quickly lining my lips with a matte dark brown liquid lipstick. I find that liquid lipsticks just work really well as liner for your lips. <laughs> Why would I use pencils? <laughs> it's just, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of months, if not two years actually. And then to fill in my lips, I'm using the NYX Smooth Whip uh, Matte Lip Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse. And after that, I'm going to apply the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip in the shade Mist Call on top of that. I know I might be a boring bitch, but this combo just looks absolutely stunning. And that was it for the entire look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you try it. And until the next video, love ya!